Yes, exactly. Now, many of you watching at home, I'm sure, will have heard of the 30 Bays in 30 Days Challenge. That's when islanders are encouraged to take a dip across our different beaches in the month of July, all to raise money for charity. Now, we haven't had the best weather for it so far, but undeterred by that fact, a group of swimmers are today, and you can do the bays in any order you like, but the rule is you've just got to do 30 strokes to complete that bay. So we're going to be joined in just a minute by Julie and by Sarah, who are coming off. They don't seem to be too chilly. Well done, guys. How's your progress going so far? And uh, we've all been, you know, raising money for um, hospice and the National Trust, and uh, it's fantastic. We've had a great day so far. Well, a fantastic effort. And I think for most people, just doing the challenge in a month would be enough. Why the crazy challenge of doing it all today? <laughs> Well, so here we are. Why not? And has it been the best weather? Have the conditions affected you much? No, we've had great fun and we've, if it was raining, we were going to get on to complete the challenge and yep. warm up. How many left to go? Ten. 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 Oh, so more than halfway. Well, best yeah. of luck, guys. Good luck with it thank and amazing you. work you're doing. Thank so you. we'll leave you get on. Thank now, thank obviously, you. thank you, guys. Thank you. Obviously, these lot, they're pretty experienced swimmers, but it does take some time to learn the skills to swim in the sea just compared to the confines and the safety of a pool. And that's the reason that this week, year five pupils in Jersey, so that's uh, nine year olds, they've been learning the skills to swim in safely in the sea. But let's get all the details now. Here's Siham Ali. Well, I can tell you, Wilsey, it's actually going to get a bit colder tomorrow. Now, the reason for that is we've got a weather front passing through tonight, bringing us some rain. And after that, we'll be into a cooler air mass. It's called a polar maritime air mass. So that means air that's actually come all the way down from the Arctic, meaning it is pretty chilly. So even though we're in summer, we're only expecting highs tomorrow of around 17 or 18 degrees. We will, though, have some bright spells before some more unsettled weather into next week. Here's all the details now. So sunshine rather in short supply today, quite a grey and dreary picture, but it is a Friday. Let's see what's in store this weekend. And actually we have got some bright spells to come, particularly on Saturday. That's looking like the sunniest of the two weekend days. But we might see a few glimmers of sunshine later on on Sunday afternoon. Do expect some showers on Saturday. They should clear off fairly quickly, so at least a dry afternoon. But on Sunday, they could be a bit heavier and lasting a bit longer. So definitely a weekend to take your raincoat out with you. I would say umbrella, but we're hanging on to the breezy conditions, so might not be all that much use. For the rest of this afternoon then, perhaps a few bright spells, but mainly cloudy. Could feel quite muggy under that cloud too, and it's going to thicken up overnight as well. We'll see this front coming through around midnight. That could give us some heavy rain for an hour or two. And as that passes through, the winds are going to ramp up as well, possibly a 4.6 for Alderney, and we'll have minimum temperatures overnight of 12 or 13 degrees. So there could be a few lingering showers tomorrow in the morning, but as I said, those should be clearing off into the afternoon, so drier weather to come then, and we'll have plenty of bright Bright spells in between those showers and sunshine too but the wind's still fairly breezy and actually not feeling all that warm with highs of just 17 to 18 degrees let's get our times of high water then between half seven and half eight in the morning same again later on in the evening so on sunday we again are seeing a weather front coming through we're going to have some showers first thing they could last a little longer but should clear off later in the day once again a brighter improving picture so in summary our week ahead saturday the brightest of the few days temperatures a bit disappointing for the time of year and unsettled into next week.